Ah, here we go. Hard to tell what's a phone and what's some other fucked up thing around here. Forget that video phone nonsense. Alright, uh, future Fresno. Let's hope you got this one right. Well, I'm glad I took a little breather here to look around. This place is actually kind of interesting. Cute. Okay, let's see here. I guess this answers it? D uh, uh, hello? Fresno? Fresno, is that you? Ah, oh, Oz! Oh, am I glad to hear from you. Some of these guests, they're a little loopy. <laughs> There's no time for that. Fresno, I, I found your future self in this crazy hospital. Clever as always. What, what have I got? A broken leg or something like that? Like a broken oh, arm? It's, it's so much worse. Your vocal cords, they're completely gone, and you're hooked to some kind of shitty voice modulator? Makes you sound like a bad Stephen Hawking impersonator. What? It's more than that, though. It wasn't an accident. The one who did it to you was... The what now? Oz! Oz! Ha! Ah, fucking hell! Even in the future, shit doesn't work. Oh! Hey! Wow! It's, it, it's you! Hey, hey, hey! Good to see you again! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, 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 I'm LPing that, yeah. What's that? Uh, oh, of course you can! Here, let me shop this goddamn phone and we'll get on there. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Hey, everybody. It's me again, Freezing Inferno, here for more Let's Play Super Back to the Future 2. And with me today, we've got... Me, Grey Fox, of course. Ah, World Act 5, Back to the Future. If I could describe it in one word, it'd be... Ha hard. Well, of course it's hard. I mean, look, it has, like, little ninjas in it, um, karate guys. Yeah. It makes any level hard. And spike balls. I don't know why the, the past is so mind-bogglingly hard. I, my, my theory is that it has to sort of do with, like, you know, these urban legends that have someone's grandparents would say, When I was your age, I had to walk five miles in the snow to go to school. Yeah. Except for this instead, it's like, when I was your age, I had to climb a giant tower filled with karate kids and spike balls in order to get to school. I've heard, <laughs> I hear that one all the time. Um, all the time. <laughs> well, this game, startlingly, 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 I cannot talk in the past, it seems, or the future. I don't even know where I am anymore. The money has got me all fucked up with this past, future, future, present. <laughs> That's a bit confusing when you start, like, you know, losing track of what you did in this time and place, and, yeah. Yeah, divergent... Time paradox. Oh, God. Time travel is just nuts. I also remember that time in the past when you had to ride on a platform that moved by itself along spike placement. I never had to do that, but my parents told me they had to. Oh, the good old days. Yeah, that leads you up here, and then you do a nice little flip. And grab a whole mess of coins. It's like, you know, that game where, um, that they put you into, like, a sort of box with money in it, and then they turn on the air, but, you know, better. Ah. Ah, th this is fun, just bouncing between giant pillars of spikes. I notice that they get higher as they go on. Is that to make it harder or...? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And now we come to the dick part. Blooms! Stupid face blooms. Blooms with people's faces. They hurt because of the goddamn fans, so... Try and do your best and flip so you can, like, get over there. Is there a, does he have, no, I, I thought I saw a power up there, but no, that's, that's just my imagination. Yeah. Um, I wonder how past me is doing at the moment. See if we're in the past. I don't know, maybe he's alright. Well, I know future me is doing good. Yay. I'm now the president of Australia. Oh, wonderful. 
course, um, not very many people ran for presidency, probably because they were too drunk. Or probably because they ran on platforms and flipped into spike balls, god damn it! That as well. Alright, we'll be right back. So, hey, there's actually two platforms running around here. One going this way, one going the other way. The one going the way I took before slams you right to a spike ball. And this one leads you up top, where you have to, like, do a nice tricky jump onto a balloon, flip over, flip back on the platform, and then make sure to flip right back up there before, or else you'll have to do it all over again, and thank God we're done 5-1. Well, they definitely like to keep you on your toes in the on past. Your, on your hoverboard. Also, oh, yeah, on your hoverboard. And then Mr. Strickland telling Biff that his stupid sports almanac is stupid and hitting him in the face with a book. He looks very shocked that he was hit in the face. He was like, like he was expecting it in the balls or something. Yeah. Well, round 5-2 is looking for that sports almanac. And we're in a... Sewer? I don't or remember this from the Air movie. shaft? I don't know what the hell we're in. Whatever it is, it's filled with spike balls and karate kids. The worst combination I can think of. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's just... I don't remember Marty ever crawling through air ducts on this hoverboard. But then again, I don't remember cops with oversized guns or uh, the Blanca hobos or... Uh, the, the, the guys wearing Union Jack shirts and having flaming bald heads. I don't remember any of that stuff in the film, so... I guess it's another creative liberty. Well, I was thinking the future is, is a scary place, if it's all like this. Very frightening indeed. This is a very large ventilation place, then, with all this stuff in it. I didn't know that, you know, they specifically used springs. I mean... Yeah, look at those doors again. Oh, constantly spawning stream of ninja karate men. Lovely. We died again. Give us a second. Alright. And that's the second time I had gone around. Oh, well. Nasty. Hey, look, it's Soda Kid. That was a Soda Kid? Yeah, there were Soda Kids in the future. I guess this is Soda Kid's grandfather. This is just lovely. Look at how much... Look at this. Chain flipping. How? Those energy drinks the kids drink these days, I mean, they're huge. Look at the cans. They're humongous, but they make for good chain flipping. Exactly. Uh, now, this is tricky because you can totally, like, get stuck on them. The same three coming at, at a time, so you can't really chain because you get them all at once. So you like a really totally falling wall all the way back down. But uh, we'll, we'll 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 get our elevate. There we go. Come on, we're almost there. How's oh, so that kids drinking more? And those guys up there too. Oh, those kids. Right. I was about to say that's a lot of uh, soda for one kid. And that's a lot of soda for three kids. They're going to be bouncing off the walls later on. Well, we're bouncing up the walls. That's very true with our flips. Flipping these karate kids. These karate kids ain't got nothing on our flips. I didn't know karate was so popular in 1955. Yeah. Apparently so. Uh, so where are we headed now, Fresno? to one of the final dick parts. Hey look, it's blocks that disappear and reappear. This is probably gonna take a while, so I think we're gonna come right back after we get through it. One second. Okay, we're totally, like, almost there. Come on, come on. There we go. My Mega Man senses were tingling just then. Yeah. This? Really? Am I really supposed to take that hit? No? Oh, okay, it's just the... Ah! Damn. But that's it. You just... You bounce right up into the checkpoint. Well, as my grandfather always said, take the hit and try again. Ooh la la! 
Ooh la la indeed. I just want to say that very shocked. That is the best face ever. Yeah. That was supposed <laughs> to be the sports almanac, but it was actually just some stupid girly mag. And now Marty's on his walkie-talkie with the doc saying, Oh, shit, I fucked up. Well, maybe Biff is at the dance. So we've totally got to go to the dance now. Rock. But I thought that in the movie... Wait, no, I won't mention that. Yeah. Then I'll create a time paradox. Yep, so the next level is going to be at the dance. Oh, boy. We're gonna dance, dance, dance in the hoverboards. Well, thank you for showing up, Grey Fox. Well, that's alright. I had to go out my busy schedule. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.